啦啦。Hello, pips, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Rotting Hill, where we're doing a, a little bit of emotional intelligence training. Indeed, we are,、um, because in Rotting Hill, of course, everybody、uh, just doesn't like it here. They just don't like it. So, to offset the minus ten percent happiness, if we give them emotional intelligence training,、uh, they will gain plus ten percent happiness. Which means it cancels it out. If they've got this training, then it's it's like they don't have this negative complaint here at all.、Uh, what is this? Mock star discovered. Ah, okay. So we have a psychiatry illness has come in through the door.、Uh, do we have a psychiatrist actually?、Um, I don't know. I cannot remember. We do. Look at this. Okay.、Uh, they seem pretty unhappy though. Uh, needs a toilet. Desperate for the toilet. Too cold. But they are positive, so they already have a plus ten percent happiness, which is fantastic because of this positive trait.、Um, so they've already cancelled it out. But we will get them the、uh, emotional intelligence training at some point because we are constantly going to be combating that staff morale thing. So the better we can do with that.、Um, Uh, the better. That was a terrible sentence. <laughs> okay, so we've got to cure a lot of patients. We've got a fracture ward emergency here, but I don't want to build a fracture ward just at the moment. I think what we want to do is just just take it steady, everybody. Just take it steady. And I think、um, what would be great is if we start getting each of the rooms to level five, so that we can get that.、Um, Mood boost. So we've got the amazing room, which is twenty percent happiness. But if we get to an outstanding room, which is level five, we get twenty five percent happiness. We get like that, an extra five percent. And then with Layla here, if we then give her emotional intelligence training, go away.、Uh, so, but she wants training. Yeah. So we would get rid of the wants training happiness. Uh, debuff. She's a little bit hungry and thirsty. She can deal with those things in this room, but she probably doesn't get a lot of time to do it. Although there we go, she's dealing with the thirst. But what's nice is that that hunger and thirst is only minus one percent.、Um, there we go, dealt with. Made her a little bit happy as well. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm thinking if we could design. A GP's office that can do level five—that would be great. Tricky thing to do to get a room to level five. Getting it, getting a room to level four is is fairly easy, but getting it to level five is a tricky old business. Unless you start spamming those gold awards, which I'd rather not do. This、uh, new radiation box from the Superbug Initiative、um, increases room prestige. Uh, but it's it's pretty big. I think I would need to design a larger room in order to make、uh, these GP offices、uh, level five. So that's probably something that I'm going to need to do.、Um, also, the Superbug Initiative has been giving me lots and lots of kudos. It's gone mental. So I thought one of the things that we could do is start opening things that require kudos. And one of those is、um, we've got a special tab here. And、uh, a few weekends ago, they released a whole bunch of Sega-related objects for Two Point Hospital, and I thought we could check out those collections. That could be fun, right? It could be fun. So I thought one of the first sets that we could check out is the Endless Universe set. I've actually already unlocked、uh, the Endless Arcade Machine, which is this here. Um, now, Sega has、uh, a bunch of endless games. I think there's three endless games. They all have different names, but they all have.、Uh, but they're all from the same sort of universe, which we're calling the Endless Universe. And these items are, are, are from that that universe.、Um, so another one here is the space rug. Covers a limited amount of floor space. Tends to collect dust. Look at this. So this is 500 kudos, but this also increases room prestige, and it's an official Sega. Look at that. Oh, 
Oh, it's really fancy. It's really fancy. Um, then we also have the Horatio statue, just like the original. 10,000. Blimey, it's expensive, isn't it? But um, you can unlock it for 1,800 kudos, and this uh, increases hospital attractiveness. That's, that's quite good, actually. Um, if we just turn attractiveness on... Anybody oh spot Mayor Tabitha oh. Winsock today? And she visited one of the county's hospitals. That's quite attractive, isn't it? Look yeah. at how much attractiveness that gives. Wow. And it's nice and small as well. Right. And doesn't require maintenance. So that that's fantastic. What a really great item. And everybody gets these items. These items should be in everybody's game. It's fantastic. Uh, in everybody's game, uh, you just need to unlock them. They downloaded automatically. Um, and then, oh, filter, special. They're under the special filter. And then the last one is this picture here. Um, hothouse canvas. This portrayal of a greenhouse will give you a warm, almost humid feeling. 250 doubloons. Unlock for 75 kudos. So this increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. Let's have a look. Look, it goes actually fits really nicely behind the bennies. Look at that. So this is the the endless universe collection from from Sega, um, which I think is pretty splendid. This statue is fantastic. You know, it gives us the benefits of one of those fountains. Only it takes up barely any of the the space that a fountain does. Oh, yeah. So there we are. Um, so there's one set and we can unlock a set each episode i think yes but that's the endless universe set anyway there we go i need that money back <laughs> we need that money back anyway <laughs> how is everything going on here i think it's going okay um we might actually be able to afford afford the fracture room now let's have a look at this treatment rooms the fracture ward and how many patients have we got six six patients so we really we would need at least three wouldn't we three traction beds i think for that um because one nurse can deal um with three traction beds and one Uh, one of these plaster casts quite well they deal with that quite well um, so we could give that a go couldn't we shall we I think we might do this so we can make this room just a little bit smaller I like the idea of yeah there we go and then we could get the door in here and then we need, oh, epidemic warning. Let's just pause that. Um, I was just thinking, actually, yeah, we might move this door up. I like the idea, I think, of doing this sort of business. There we go. That's not so bad. Now, I think we need to boost treatment are these the items specifically for this room it does look like it doesn't it we're going to need to heat this room definitely going to need to heat it should we do one at the other end it's quite a large room it's quite a large room uh what else have we got in here so we can put the fish enclosure in here we've got the fridge Got a few items we can stick in here. Oh look, this is the brain chair from the Superbug Initiative, um, which gives the staff a brain boost. I've been writing about it on the Wikipedia. It's pretty good. It gives, uh, it boosts their learning um, speed as well by 100%. It's mental. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Um, right. So what else uh, would I like to put in here? So they've got a cabinet each um to boost treatment this boost treatment but can't really can't find a good place to put it just a bit of a shame it makes me a little bit sad oh i like these 
We don't get to use these very often. We only get to use them in a couple of rooms. So definitely want that. Um, do you know what? I think we will put a couple of fish enclosures in. A lack of soul. Um, here's another super bug initiative item. It gives people the giggles. <laughs> I think we might pop that in. Um, now, I think we might put this chair in if we can. Let's move this. Maybe we'll move that up. Like this. I like that. Uh, we'll put a clock in. Um, and maybe we could put in a couple of these lockers. Where's the lockers? There they are. A couple of lockers. These used to serve more of a function um, uh, before release. Uh, this is how you would denote how many nurses that you could have in the ward. For every locker, you could have an additional nurse rather than doing that thing where you click on the room. That's how we used to work, everybody. Uh, I don't think that's going to go in there. It's not fine. Mind you, maybe we could put a chair here. Um, we need, we definitely need something to drink and hygiene and all that sort of business. So maybe we could put some hot chocolate in over here. It makes them happy, the hot chocolate. Put that in over there with a bit of food. So that's food and drink. Um, but we definitely need some hygiene, which might stick behind the desk here. Lovely. Lovely. So we've got it to level four, which is a pretty good start. It's a pretty good start. Okay. Now, one, as I say, one nurse should be able to do three beds with one plaster cast fairly well. They should be able to do it fairly well. And we don't actually have many good nurses at all, do we? Ooh, motivated. So, she is a good nurse to train up in the fracture ward. Um, we might get her trained up actually and and oh and they're really good as well to replace the other ward nurse excellent so what we might do is so we're going to close the fracture ward so what I'm thinking about doing is training Molly here Molly sausage um in ward management am i going to pay somebody to do that so we'll do that because i can't really spare this this nurse at the moment so we'll do that uh oh yes and then we have this epidemic that's why i had it paused the epidemic is going on so we have three infected is there anybody infected over here i don't think so Oh, you're, you're infected. If we can keep the amount of vaccinations down, we get money for the vaccinations we don't use. And and right now, Rotting Hill could do with all the money it could get its grubby little mitts on. Look at them doing their stretches. Disgusting. <laughs> who else has... I don't know who else has it. Let's just check the receptionist. No, receptionist is fine. Okay. What about the GP? GP seems okay. People in the beds, maybe. Yeah, here's one. So one more. Oh, look, they're going home. They almost got away with it. They almost got away with it. Almost, not quite. Okay. Ah, oh, staff morale. Yeah, and then we can get rid of... Bella Gump here um, who just there's, there's nothing wrong with her it's just an unusual mix of of qualifications <laughs> an unusual mix of qualifications uh, a bit like that one there uh, we don't want this okay let's have a look actually at our janitor so we do have a good janitor actually you're fantastic I like you Come along. I 
feel if we're taking on her T leg, at least one qualification in ward management might be nice. And then we can take on this emergency, I think. I'm hearing there's a new epidemic going around. Oh, look, lightheadedness has come in. Station till they find a cure, which means more music like this. More music. And I think what I will do uh, from between this episode and the next episode is I will go around and I will make each room level five. Um, I won't. I won't do it uh, on camera. Uh, but I can show you the rooms after I've done them. Um, ooh, look. Get the patient to wait. So there's finally a good need to open this. So a nurse. Ooh. Oh, look at that. She's fantastic. So a diagnostic nurse. Here we go. You can be our diagnostic nurse. We need a new diagnostic room. And it's already built. It's right here. Open. <sighs> It has got a radiator. Okay, good. There we go. Training course completed. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And um, what we'll do is we'll now open up her department and we'll pull Patients in the hurty legs. The Patients arriving for the ward. Let's put a radiator over here. And maybe we could get a couple of bennies in here. And what we might do, hey, should we compare them? So, I, of course, I always like to put in um, these, which have attractiveness and prestige, which is the same as this, but maybe they have different levels. So if I go to attractiveness, no, that they look about the same. No, it is more attractive, isn't it? I think this one is cool. I mean, there's not much in it, <laughs> but I think what I might do, as we've recently unlocked this, is a uh, oops, wrong button. Stick that in. There we go put in a couple of those it's a bit weird when you start using pictures like this the pin board I feel is okay to to duplicate everywhere because um, they're pin boards you know it could be any message up there uh, you know but a repeating image is <laughs> a little bit weird right so we have a light-headed patient here. Look, we need a deluxe clinic. So I'd like to deal with that. Oh, look, we've discovered Emperor's Complex and Hurty Leg. Hurty Leg. <laughs> uh, we'll get them to wait. I would like to build this. So a doctor, a treatment doctor, because it's definitely a doctor that deals with the deluxe clinic. And there he is. He's going to be our treatment doctor there. Lovely. So let's build these rooms. Uh, treatment rooms, deluxe clinic. We're going to shove that uh, here. I think we might make it a little bit bigger because we're going to have to start making all these rooms level five. I might stick it there like that. Excellent. And then he can just remain a little bit warm. Probably should stick one of these in, in fact. Should probably stick one of these in here. Uh, stick that there. That plaster cast. Okay, look at this thing. Deep thing too. I'd love to stick that in here. So this is from the Superbug as well. And look, it gives plus three research power and plus three treatment power. <gasps> it's amazing. It's also very expensive. It also runs extremely hot. So could act as a nice radiator but otherwise would need cooling um so let's pop in a few bits to try and keep the staff member happy um i'm definitely going to need a chair i think we'll use this one um i don't believe that this wicker chair adds any more comfort than the normal chair um 
but I just like the way that it looks. It looks comfy, right? I think it looks fairly comfy. Uh, I do. Stick that there. Now, uh, what else? They need hygiene. Because they're all pretty grubby, aren't they? <laughs> uh, so that will do for the moment. Um, that should that should work. And then we'll pop a Benny outside there. And I think what we'll do is we'll move this one, just so it's not repeating too much. Move this one to here. And I'll copy. Oh no, Simon, you're in the way. No. Right. Our bell is in the way. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll pop this here. So how is this emergency going? Turin, she's processing them through here. So, I think she's got three in by the looks of it, and the other three are outside. Okay. She's doing it. She's doing it. Oh God, they're moving very, very slow, aren't they? Life so, it seems lovely. that One moment you're they're limping slowly, and then when they come in here, they go into the plaster cast and have. Next oh dear, we move. killed them. Have casters put on. In here they have a bit of a lie down. Uh, I don't know. And then presumably they have to have the plaster removed. Interesting. Will we do it in time? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. But there we are. We'll do as many as we can. We're, ki we're killing a lot of people at the moment. So we've killed a deluxe, a light-headed patient and a verbal diarrhea. Oh. Blimey. It's been pretty terrible, huh? Um, another really, actually, another really good item from Superbug uh, is this Ectovat. So the Ectovat repurposes ghosts. So when... Okay. <laughs> so what's really good is that they suck up the ghosts and serve vacuum cleaners and then release them in here. Now, on this side, staff can use this you get a 50% energy boost so and this can go in any room or corridor so if you put this in rooms if used correctly you technically could stop staff from ever going on a break with this in addition um, patients when they use it get uh, a health boost so you can keep patients alive with it as well without the disadvantages that swill has which is everybody needs to go to the toilet all of the time so a really good uh thing to get up and running i would say is is the exovat there's no ghost in there at the moment and i do believe it's a one for one so for each ghost for one ghost that goes in there it can be repurposed to do one thing so if a member of staff comes along there's only one ghost in there they would use it to get re-energized um, and then that ghost would be spent and you would need a new ghost. So that's that's its limitation. Uh, otherwise, it'd be totally OP. Uh, what is this? Mucky feet discovered. Oh, no. Feet so grubby that the filth will never come out. Spreads germs like wildfire. It does. That's a bit of a nightmare, that one. Because um, if we go to hygiene, I don't think we have one actually in at the moment. But they come in filthy. They'll come in filthy and they do spread germs. And it's terrible. Well, we have a pretty good toilet. And patients, if they're feeling a bit grubby, will use hand sanitizers that are in the corridors. And of course, if we put them in where our doctors are in their rooms, not that I've done this one yet, um, <clears throat> it'll keep them. It should be all right. It, sh it should be. It should be fine, I think. <laughs> We should be able to get away with that. I'm going to just keep an eye on it. Because we've only got one janitor at the moment. That's sort of the way that it, it kind of needs to be. So what I'm thinking might be nice is, talking of that janitor, our janitor is a really good teacher. So I think what I might do is train our janitor in emotional intelligence. And then our janitor can teach all our other members of staff saving us a whole bunch of money that might be nice so we'll get them we'll get them to do that um yeah so 
uh, before the next episode I will make sure that every single room is level 5 which will help increase the hospital value as well as um, staff morale um, that'll be really really good oh dear look Get to a point where we could probably do with You're back and you join me in what appears to be my another new GP. Harrison Wolf trapped at his post. I'm sure all the fat cats have been waiting for this day. Let's pop this the here. movement will not be stopped by the lack of movement. There we go. Here some real Let's get a new tools. GP. Uh, but they all suck. I don't want any of those. We'll have to we'll have to close this office for the moment. Until we find a nice new GP. Oh no! <laughs> well, we royally messed that one up. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I guess one nurse couldn't do the emergency. One nurse can do three beds and uh, a plaster cast fairly well on their own, but uh, they can't do it fast enough to get through an emergency, I would say. <laughs> That's what we've learned there. Fine. That's fine. That's all good. Who would like to come? The health minister. Ooh. Uh, minister Tarquin Foxbridge. Tarquin? He writes his letters all the time. He's like our best friend. <laughs> Have we got any more doctor? Oh, we're about to find... God, we're killing lots of people, aren't we? We really need to deal with this situation. <laughs> uh, no. No. Maintenance announcement. No. Tarquin Foxbridge is arriving at the hospital. He's travelling. Fair enough. This is this is this is becoming a terrible situation. Have we set our policy? We did. Oh, jeez. I really need. Look, there are sixty-nine. Pan's lab. Okay. So I think this treatment doctor can do Pan's lab, right? Um, what am I looking for? His jobs. Yeah, he can. Right, he can work both of those. We'll do this. Let's build it. Treatment. Pan's lab. Stick this in here. Put the doors fairly close to each other. Um, patient comes in this way. Yes. Right, so we want to make this room fairly warm. Um, I'm going to need one of these. And then we're going to need all of his gubbins again. Uh, so, something to eat, something to drink, um, something to sit on. Excellent. Make it just a little bit attractive where he's hanging out. That might be good. Um, and keep his hygiene up. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, and then I can make it level five before the next episode. There we go. Um, what is happening out here? It's probably quite cold out here. It's not too bad, actually, is it? Uh, maybe if I put in a couple of small radiators there just to help warm it up. Um, maybe we could whack in a big boy there. Okay. Um... one Benny outside there should be fine and what we'll do I think is get um no not the swell I want to increase happiness if we can there we go so there's some food over here easy um oh a toilet yeah so she really needs a toilet let's copy this toilet over and this staff room I should probably do that do that. God, we're killing everyone. <laughs> we're terrible. Um, excellent. Uh, a bit of entertainment probably wouldn't go amiss. Um, so a couple of arcade machines seems quite nice to me. Um, excellent. Excellent. I like uh, as well that this fireplace. Look, that we could put this. Wrapped in plastic. Oh, it's far too hot here now. We take that out. That's I've pretty good. Used to a primarily flat diet. 
think I might do that. It's nice and warm. And then, and then we could put down like a beautiful rug. Uh, and uh, something else that I quite like um, in seating is uh, the cube of sitting. I mean, look at this. What a waiting area. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine it's a waiting area of dreams, this. Um, and then we, if we... Oh, entertainment. Look at this. We, oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit big, isn't it? Maybe we could just put in these so that they'll just sit around the fire laughing <laughs> well i think that's pretty awesome or they could sit down and read a book maybe that might also be be nice oh good <laughs> good what is this humorous injury <laughs> uh, patients are really not amused by this injury of the upper arm so we've it's nice that we're now getting patients in that just um, uh, non-emergency patients but come in and actually are now using the fracture ward that's that's fantastic news uh, can we get a GP doctor no I thought we might be able to get oh there's Tarquin he's uh, it's a little bit stuck there okay. yeah hey Tarquin how are you it's naked lady try not to look it's a naked dude running around try not to look at that as well that would be fantastic um, he seems to quite like the place. I'm not entirely sure uh, what aspects Tarquin looks for um, when he comes into the hospital. It's not actually something... I'm... Oh, look! <gasps> look at this! We picked gold. There's our GP. Um, can we afford to pay somebody? Yes, we can. Excellent. We found another GP. Well, this is wonderful. Um, this means that we can open up this GP office, which would be five each. It's possible that we may need to get a third GP to cover breaks. Um, yeah, I can see that potentially being a thing. How's... They're okay. They are fine. Well, good -o. So yes, uh, before the next episode, I will get all of these rooms to level five. And, uh, and then we can see what difference it's making to hospital value and staff morale. Probably not masses, but it certainly helps. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.